Hello everyone, um, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to replace the front screen and LCD assembly on your uh, LG Google Nexus 5X. Alright, so as you can see, uh, it says Nexus back here, LG, um, and the screen is completely shattered, it's not working uh, at all. So I'm going to be showing you how to take it apart and replace it with a new um, LCD and glass screen. Alright, so first thing we're going to want to do is... We're going to need to um, remove the uh, tray that it's going to have over here on the side. All right, so remove that. And then we're going to have to pry up uh, down here towards where the charging port is. You're going to have to pry back on this white piece. All right, so uh, it's going to be kind of difficult. It's going to be kind of hard. So I'm going to be using a thin tool to wedge uh, in between here, in between this the white part and the black part to lift it up so let's get in there and then we're gonna uh, pry up on it just a little bit to release the clips okay so as you can see uh, going around it the clips are being released So these clips are very, are held on very tight to the back frame. So you're going to have to go around the whole thing carefully, prying up each clip one by one. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> so once you have this removed, uh, next thing, once you have the back uh, cover removed, next thing we're going to have to do is with a small Phillips head screwdriver, we're going to remove all of the uh, Phillips head screws that are holding on the back frame. All right, so let's go ahead and do that now. we have all of these Phillips head screws removed uh, we're gonna begin to pry up on the back frame so it's also gonna have some clips like one right here that's one of the clips right here so we're gonna pry up around it to lift it up Alright, so once you go around the clips and remove it, it comes right out. Let's put that to the side as well. Alright, next thing we're going to want to do is disconnect the battery first so there's no electricity going through the phone. <coughs> Alright, let's disconnect the LCD flex cable down here. Let's disconnect the front and back camera. Once you have all that removed, you can uh, move the flex cables out of the way 
and the motherboard comes right out. Alright, so let's put that to the side. Alright, now, the next step. Let's look at the LCD that we purchased. The one that I purchased to make it, uh, you know, an easier, less of a headache job for me. Um, I ordered the entire screen assembly, which comes with the frame as well. Okay, so we're going to be removing all of the parts from the old frame and placing them on the new one. If you order just the LCD, then what you would have to do is you would have to heat this, the old LCD up, heat it up till it's uh, hot enough so that you can lift up the glass and remove this LCD. And then you'll place the new one in, fitting in the flex cables of the LCD through the bottom here. But since this is not the case for me because I have the entire frame, okay, I'm going to be swapping out all the pieces from the old frame to the new one. Okay, so let's go ahead and remove all of the adhesive stickers. Alright, so now we're going to be removing the battery, so with the thin prying tool, pry on the side of the battery and wedge it up. Do it carefully and slowly and the battery will come right out. Alright, then we're going to be removing the rear camera, so we're going to wedge under it as well, slowly, and give it little bit of pressure upwards and it will come right out as well all right let's remove the front camera might need uh, some pressure as well comes out pretty easy though let's remove the ear speaker It might have some adhesive on there. Uh, you can leave it on there. Um, even though the new frame uh, will have adhesive. Alright, so let's put that to the side. Let's place it on the phone. And let's place the rear camera and the front camera. Mm -hmm. Okay, now it's time to remove the vibrator. Wedge under it slowly as well and carefully, and it will come right out.
All right, so one more thing that we're going to have to transfer over from the old frame to the new frame are the uh, little buttons for the power button and the volume button. So let's go ahead and remove them from the old frame. And also, we're going to have to replace the headphone jack, which is down here. All right, so let's put that here. All right, so once uh, once these little parts are back in, we're ready to go ahead and place the back cover on. Make sure there's no screws on the magnetic uh, speaker over here. All right, so let's place it back on. Make sure all the flex cables are connected. All right, let's go for it. All right, so let's give it pressure so that all the clips of the back housing uh, clip back in. Alright, and once you feel you're ready, uh, we're going to go ahead and place all of the uh, Phillips head screws back on. Alright, so once all the Phillips head screws are back on, we're ready to go ahead and place the back cover. Alright, let's give it pressure once again. Alright, once you feel all of the clips are uh, have clipped back in, so let's go ahead and uh, test the phone. Let's power it on. Hit the power button. Alright, so it looks like this phone is locked with a password. This is a customer's phone. Uh, but the screen looks like it's working just fine. Alright, so uh, yeah, that's how you replace the uh, LCD screen assembly on your LG Nexus 5X. Hope this video helped you out. If it did, please give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.